One more for the trip. I hear voices in my head. They count for me. They understand. They talk to me. And you don't get to divorce yourself from it by attaching yourself from the, to the label and saying, oh, well, it's all better now because I'm here and I'm not like that. You are like that. You're just a bigger chicken shit than the people that you're trying to defend because they're like that in the open. You're like that back here when the lights are off and the doors are closed. So why is this even a thing? Who cares? It's an isolated little tiny community, sub-community, subculture. It's not that big of a deal. This is white people problems. Who gives a shit? Well, yeah, who cares about white people? I mean, it's not like they're human or anything. Wait. Well, first world problems, whatever we're calling them this week, I don't care. The thing is that it's symptomatic of a much larger problem because what's going on and, and one of the reasons why I think people are working so hard and so vehemently to try to suppress this conversation is because it reflects on our whole culture, so especially in the United States. It reflects on our whole culture and in how we judge people based on extraneous appearances like their gender or their skin color or who they like to sleep with. And we don't want to have that conversation. I'm tired of having that conversation. It's like Chris Christie, right? Well, I'm tired of hearing about the minimum wage. Yeah, try living on it. You're tired of hearing this conversation. Maybe you ought to think about how tired people are putting up with your bullshit. Well, I'm already tired looking at this guy. I mean, seriously. I mean, he's just spying up fucking nonsense. I mean, try opposing feminism. I dare you. I guarantee you that these feminists will ignore everything you have to say. They'll just say that you're a misogynist, you hate women, you want to, you know, destroy uh, the female culture. <laughs> I, I'm not even sure at this point, you know, they're just spouting out bullshit. Yeah, try criticizing feminism, see what happens. Because that's the real problem here, and it's not going away. You're not going to get yank me into some stupid Twitter flame war where we can go back and forth matching archaic information. Good to know that you're not willing to debate. I guess it makes sense for you to disable your ratings and comments. Measuring our cyber Johnsons because I don't care. I'm all about root causes. I'm all about getting down to the point and the getting down to the point of this is it started at some guy being a dick to a woman because he thought he could trying to push her around trying to be aggressive trying to be violent and encouraging other people to do the same and the other people did it. Holy fuck is this wrong! And then all of a sudden, it got to be news. And people started going, hey, you guys are assholes. You can't do that. And they said, well, we ain't trying to hear that bullshit, so let's change it into something else. Now we're a noble movement of journalistic integrity. Holy fuck is this wrong? No, you're not. No, you're not. You're a bunch of mouthy, bullying, little punk-ass kids trying to hurt people, and you got caught at it, and you're embarrassed, and now you're trying to cover up. Holy fuck is this wrong? Instead of looking at the problem. This plays into the bigger problems of rape culture, which some assholes don't even believe is a thing existed. Rape culture is not a fucking thing. I believe the Amazing Atheist has already destroyed this argument before. Plays into the bigger culture of pay inequality. Ah, the fucking wage gap argument. Really getting sick and tired of you fucking feminists bringing that shit up. It plays into the culture of telling women how to handle their lives according to what you want them to do with their reproductive capabilities. It has to do with a lot of problems that we don't want to talk about, that you don't want to talk about. Well, maybe because the things that you say is total, utter bullshit. Seriously, it, it, they're almost in every feminist video, every feminist who declares that why they need feminism, they're always, almost always, they're going to bring up the wage gap argument. They're always going to bring up some bullshit argument that could be debunked easily. No wonder why we don't want to talk about it, because it's full of shit. We dealt with this time and time again. We're tired of it. 
because you're not going to like the answers. The answers are society has moved past you. The way you act and the way you think is not acceptable in an advanced and intelligent civilization. And that's what you don't want to deal with because you're afraid you can't manage to live up to those standards. Their standards or your standards? You're not fooling anybody. This isn't some crusade about journalistic ethics. This is a bunch of naughty little boys that got caught trying to get out of trouble. Holy fuck is this wrong! You're not kidding anyone. Making excuses for gender-based violence and inequality? I'm over it. Finally, it is over. I do not have to make another video response to John Henry. Thank fucking God. Thank the invisible man in the sky. So, I hope you enjoy this six-parter episode on John Henry. And now, I think I should probably stab all the stupid out of my fucking skull. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out. If you enjoy watching this video, click on the like button. Subscribe to this channel for more videos. And of course, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and ugh, Google+. We all know Google+, fucking sucks.